What's going on again? Welcome back to Frost Garage. So today is going to be the big day. We are going to take the Silverado back out. Uh, as you see here, I got my slicks and everything right here in front of it. The jack with the uh, handle and my impact so we can get these switched out. So we are going to head out to Bowman Dragway, my local eighth mile track, and we are going to see what this thing can run with this stock engine. Now, right now, I don't have much time in it. I think it's only like 21 degrees of time in it just because I hadn't slapped it on the dyno or really messed with the timing too much yet. So I just put a safe number in there. I did, however, go to uh, my local gas station that sells E85 and there is E85 in the tank. So I might start adding some timing in. Uh, I might just set it around 25 degrees. That should be more than safe on E85. And uh, my goal for the end of the day is I'd like to see the stop motor in this truck break down into the seven. So if I can get a 790 or so, I'll be happy with that with the stop motor. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this thing loaded up, get the slicks and everything into bed and make our way out to the track because I think I got like 45 minutes to get there before the track goes hot. Uh, I'm gonna be running for brackets. So it's gonna be an actual bracket race, not a testing tune night. So hopefully we can take home a little bit of money too, but let's get it ready and get out on the road and drive to the track. So we got the truck all dialed in now, setting ready to go. So they're actually announcing now that the track is going hot. We got Andy Chavis over here with the Camaro. We got his son running his Nova. Uh, Dalton Farmer's gonna be running his little V6 Mustang just cause he ain't got none of his race vehicles ready. And Guy Farmer's gonna be running the Vega. So we're about to pull up here, make a test pass since they announced the track's hot and uh, see if we can put it in the sevens.
Ooh, that one felt good. I'd probably say I hit maybe like 86, 88 at the end of the track. Speedometer's off because I'm running a different size tire. Get it from out the tower if you don't at mind. At the tower? Alright. All right. You good? I'll give you a ride back. I gotta get the ticket out the tower though. But yeah, you can jump in the passenger side if you want to ride back instead of walking. Right, I was gonna give you a ride down here. You gotta tell me how the video was. Alright, I will. You can tell me it's fucked. I won't kick the ass. I'm sure it's not. I did come, I did say I was stuck because that goes. All right, guys, so I'm going to put an overlay at a time slip on the screen. So 60 foot, we hit a 1.87 on the 60 foot. So that's pretty decent. I'd like to see a little better than that. But uh, reaction time, we only had a, this is a 500 tree, so 500 is perfect. So we was only a 5,800 off the tree for the first time out for the year since uh quit racing last year. It went at 835 flat at 82.1 mile an hour so that's the first pass uh i've already gone in now to the tune and changed i'm bumping the shift rpm up from 5200 to 5400 and we're going to see how well that works uh also i added two more degrees of timing in there so that pass was 24 degrees we're going to run 26 on this one again since from uh data logger showing us like 63 and a half percent alcohol in there right now so that e85 shouldn't have to worry about the timing so i'm going to get that flashed in we'll let it cool down for a second and then we're going to run up here and make another pass better on that one uh that's a fun little just race with Dalton with the Camaro oh I'm sorry it's the Mustang uh again V6 car it definitely wasn't going to stay with me we knew that but it was just for fun Alright, again, I put the ticket up on the screen, so got even a better reaction. So it was 45 on the tree on this one, uh, a 188 on the 60 foot, and she went 837 at 82 again. So I think I'm gonna take the 200 RPMs back out of it and see how it does with just the timing, because that timing should have picked it up a little bit. Well, the mile an hour did pick up. Alright guys, so as you saw on that run, uh, 
it went a, like 200 slower but it did pick up a little mile an hour and i think the reason behind that i got my data log up. i don't know how well you can see it but she was nice and toasty because i just pretty much went straight hot lap just stopped enough time to slap the tune in there and made another pass so i think that is going to be the faster setup i just got to give it some cool down time so it it'll do basically had the same conditions that it did first pass so the fact that it picked up mile an hour with it being that high is already a sign that that's probably a better setup but i'm not going to mess with it anymore i'm just giving some cool down time i might get one more test pass before the bracket racing but i don't want to keep making changes because of me bracket racing so the name of that game is to be very consistent so i want to see what the number is going to run back to back with this thing so yeah guys that's going to be it for the changes on it uh but i will get some shots of me bracket racing today and hopefully we do good and take some money So we're back we got the slip so good news we broke the 83 mile an hour mark and she went the fastest time yet she went 834 with a six so right there at that 835 mark i was kind of shooting for uh my reaction was kind of terrible this time it was a 145 i thought i had a good reaction on this one but uh yeah showing 180 uh, basically a 145 reaction and it went a 187 in the 60 foot so that's the best one of the day. That's where she's going to stay at just because I can't keep making adjustments. And we're going to do some bracket racing and finish out the night.
we'll see here with the ticket. So we are back from the track. Uh, as you see, it's dark out now. So I didn't get footage of me switching everything back over uh, to street tires and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I didn't do so well in the brackets. Uh, new setup and everything. I was kind of all over the place on the tree. So I got to spend some time setting it up to where I can leave at the same time on the tree like I used to, to be real consistent uh, as far as my reaction time. But I'll put the ETs all next to each other here on the screen. The truck did what it's supposed to between the throughout the whole day it didn't change more than one hundredth of a second total i think uh from fastest pass to the slowest pass it was only like eight thousandths difference between them and uh other than that one where i hot lapped it that one that i hot lapped did uh run a little bit uh slower but uh other than that all my other passes my other four passes were uh I mean, less than a hundredth of a second difference from between the fastest and the slowest. So, truck printing tickets just like it was with the last engine. So we're going to try to keep it that way, where the truck will run the same number over and over and over, because that's very important in bracket racing. Uh, we just got to work on the driver mod now. So, yeah. Uh, but as you saw, I was kind of being uh, a little eager, hoping for sevens on the stop motor. But you know, we got low eights. Uh, I think the quickest one was like a 834 or something like that uh so we're gonna pull up the laptop real quick and just do a quick conversion and see about what that equates to in the quarter mile should be a, should be quick enough to go in 12s so let's go on ahead and pull up the laptop and go to wallace racing calculators and see okay guys so i am on wallace racing calculator so this is basically to compute my ideal 60 foot and uh eighth mile time and my quarter mile time and quarter mile mile an hour based off of i'm gonna base it off my mile an hour because that just mainly shows the power of the truck and it'll show what my ideal time should be if i get everything else dialed in so it says i should see about a 1860 foot probably a little more converter to get it there uh again i'm not going to bother changing the converter though uh because I'm be changing the cam and then it's going to need a whole different converter again. So we'll keep with the converter I got. So quarter mile ET is saying I should run about a 1298 at 102.12 mile an hour based off of uh, my mile an hour and eighth mile. And it says I should be able to get it down to like an 819 in the eighth mile. So yeah, based off the mile an hour I'm putting down, if I get everything else dialed in, I should be able to get down to like eight twenties, and if I take it to the quarter mile, I should be able to go down into twelves, uh, just barely. Again, like I said, this is ideal conditions. Maybe if it's a cooler weather, it'd do it. Uh, today was we've had a lot of rain and mist and stuff around here, so it's a real humid day too. So maybe a little better weather and it'll do it. But that's bench racing. The numbers it put down is this right here. So that's what she runs, eight thirty four. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, and stay tuned for the next video. Alright guys, so we got the Frost Garage gear in. So I am wearing the sweatshirt now with the Rat Rod logo. We got the Silverado logo on sweatshirts. We got the laptop backpack for carrying your laptop to the track or whatever else you need to carry your laptop for. We got t-shirts, we also got thermoses, coffee mugs, and a bunch of other products. So if you wanna go down below, check out uh, the different apparel and uh, accessories we have and get you something nice. Uh, don't forget to check out too, to hit the redeem coupon. There's always different coupon codes running, anything from free shipping all the way up to 25% off, depending on the time of the year or the holiday. All right, guys. Thank you.